Hello and welcome back to Drink the Video Games. I am Brian and I am here with Ben Throttle and another flip through of the Adventure magazine. So a new CD of Room Adventure Hits High Gear, see page six, we'll do that. Uh, but first let's see, we're on number eight here. This is summer of 1994, uh, LucasArts. And I love this, this is like a, a concept image um, from the game Full Throttle. It's really, really cool, the coloring. It's got like this like, purplish kind of kind of sky and shadows uh pretty pretty awesome stuff what do we got inside of here so uh some new stuff actually which is kind of kind of neat here's the you know kind of the info on uh who's doing that peter chan uh did the uh, artwork there for the the front page but record setting rebel assault coming soon to mac and sega cd that's pretty good uh new lucasarts support and the dig to premiere on cd-rom so uh just kind of like some news release there for some stuff. Uh, we've got uh, some more advertisements coming into the fold now uh, here for the uh, LucasArts Adventure magazine. So uh, that there from the Computer Game Review magazine. Uh, Dark Forces make formidable enemy in a new action game. All right, and here it is. This is the new adventure. It is full speed ahead for fall. Uh, I got full throttle right there. So this was the first LucasArts game that I Remember, like, buying and having as my own. I uh, mowed a bunch of yards that summer. I had seen this. Uh, maybe I saw it in the computer game review. I don't know. I saw it in some magazine, and I really wanted to get it because I thought that it looked awesome. I thought the artwork, like, the cartoonish, like, styling of it looked pretty cool. Um, had Mark Hamill doing a voice. And I said, that is the game for me. I bought it. I played it. And now, all these years later, I'm talking about it on this podcast. So... Uh, what do we got up next here? We've got working and playing with the actors of Sam and Max Hit the Road. Okay, so, you know, some more information about Sam and Max here. Sam and Max was pretty good, especially with the voice actors. It was the first game to ship uh, with the full uh, voice acting and uh, full, uh, like, soundtrack and stuff. You know, some of the older games got, like, talkie versions later, but Sam and Max was the first to ship with all that stuff already included up front. And the dark side illuminated right there. You can join the official Star Wars fan club, Star Wars Insider. This must be about the time that that came out because this is the first ad we've seen for it in the uh, adventure catalogs here. And we are still carrying on with some more X-Wing goodness. There's a lot of uh, or, uh, good uh, TIE Fighter goodness, rather, excuse me there, um, which is funny because this was a full throttle. Uh, one last month, or the last issue was the TIE Fighter uh, issue, but it seems like there's a bunch more uh, content here about that. Got our Sam and Max cartoon there, of course, looking good. Uh, I guess this one is uh, full throttle the themed. That is nice. And then Lucas Who, who do we get this month? We get Kalani Stryger, a producer and project leader, and Ron Lucier, a lead 3D artist and animator. Sam and Max hit the road, the talkie. Those two are just too cool. They are pretty cool. Oh, here it is. Beautiful. Right before we get to the company store, we get to the Plymouth Neon store. Buy yourself a brand new Plymouth Neon. $8,975 starts. $12,500 fully loaded. Can be yours. 1-800-NEW-NEON. All right. And now we are into the company store. Let's check out all of the new merch. Got Rebel Assault there. Okay, so you could go ahead, you could uh, you could pre-order. It looks like Full Throttle for $63.95. So um, in 1995, when Full Throttle came out, um, I would have been like 13, 14 years old. I guess 13 years old at the, the time of year that it came out. Um, so $63 was a lot of money uh, for that back then. For sure. There's all the games that are on Mac up there. Got your TIE Fighter and X-Wing merch. Air Combat and Flight Simulator stuff. Same on Mac, Day of the Tentacle. Got a Jedi lightsaber sword, $14.95. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I have to say. Now here we go. Here Now we're talking the George Lucas Super Live Adventure Show. I uh, got stuff there. So you got the plush Yoda doll. You got your Darth Vader dome light up there. That's where the lightsaber sword comes in. Darth Vader keychain. 
R2-D2 snow mug. Doubles as a bank. Love that. Now, I got some plates there from the Hamilton collection. Star Wars chess. Then you got your models. You got actually just some, <laughs> like, Kenner action figures. Now you can get right uh, through there. Um, and some more stuff. Vinyl figures, masks, computer, vehicles. Even more stuff. We got more models here for more ships. The action scene model kit. Some micro machines. Star Wars is uh, kind of taken over uh, here at this point, I guess, in uh, 1994. There is a lot of Star Wars merchandising going on uh, in this time. Got some enamel pins. There you go. Some more watches. These are some new watches. We've got the Millennium Falcon watch there. $65.95. Not a bad deal. The X-Wing hologram watch. That's pretty cool. I do like that. $40 for that one. And still uh, still going on strong with the Star Wars stuff here. We've got some Star Wars artwork. Return of the Jedi stickers. Postcards. And then on to the poster shop over here. Pretty cool uh, Yoda print there. $135. Can be yours. Star Wars from concept to screen to collectible. And a bunch of different Star Wars books down here. You got the Heir to the Empire stuff, of course. The Truce of Bakura. Courtship of Princess Leia. And some more Star Wars and source books over here. Which are all re always really good to go back and read if you're into, into the Star Wars of it all here. And you got the laser discs, All that stuff. The radio drama. Bantha Track Special Sound Sheet Edition. It includes a record, $7. It's a good deal. Okay. And then on to uh, a couple of the other games. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Dinatron City. The Indiana Jones stuff there. Got the Kenner figures. And some books and comics. The figures, some posters. The Indy Fedora is still hanging on strong there. Some other stuff. Some other uh, THX uh, laser discs. Uh, I got the Star Wars trilogy there on laser disc, of course. But we've also got the Abyss, Hoffa, Terminator Two. Terminator Two is one hundred and nineteen dollars. Bet it sounded good though. THX stuff there. And then the last page is uh, some uh, LucasArts stuff, a special Star Wars Laser Summer Activity set. We've seen that before. And then some old closeout t-shirts. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your order in to the Lucas Company store. And then that is it. Where to find us? Okay. Got some more contact information stuff. That's right here on the back now. So you can go to America Online, keyword uh, LucasArts, or s send an email. You know, if you were ahead of the curve, had an email address early on. In the company stores, so no uh, index of stories on the back. So uh, that is new for this issue as well. But that is uh, issue number eight of the adventure, uh, the CD of Room Adventure Hits High Gear, Ben Throttle there. So uh, yeah, that one's awesome. Love the cover. Uh, thanks for joining me, and check out uh, the next one. We'll be back uh, shortly. Thanks.